hi everyone how you guys doing um welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you guys how i make my egusi soup special nigerian soup in this um, um uh, for this soup we will need um you will need all of these i have this is my stuffed fish this is my chicken my pomo my stock fish goat meat the egusi, the stock, the stock meat, and uh, okazi leaf, palm oil, shrimp, and pepper. Some people like to use um, um bitter leaf. Oops, I was actually going to use bitter leaf, but I changed my mind, so I will be using okazi leaf to make this egusi soup actually you can use any vegetable of your choice you can use okazi leaf bitter leaf pumpkin leaf ogre leaf or zizi any kind of leaf you want you can use it but today i'll be using okazi leaf to make this egusi soup so let's get started since my pot is um is hot now but i have it on a low heat so i'll be adding oil red oil Turn on the heat a little bit. So I will be cutting some onions. So I will be kind of frying it a little bit. So slice your onions. I'm trying to cut the onions as small as possible. I hope you all are staying safe. the heat right now so I'm going to start mixing my my boost I'm going to make it paste the boosty soup is very very nutritious and always delicious it too. You, know, you, you want to get a taste out of it, not too much water. Actually, use any meat you like. If you like snail, you can put snail, any type of meat of your choice. It goes very well. So, the onion is frying pretty good. I wish you can have a little lump, so I'm trying to mix it up. So I will be adding the goosey. I'll mix it up. Try not to mix it up to have some little lump in the in the soup. 
Follow that up right. I will also, now I'm going to wash my, my shrimp. I'll be blending the shrimp with, with, with the pepper, the hot pepper. Remember, I still have the bussy in a very low heat. turn it so make sure it's not burning. So I will add my blended pepper and shrimp. I'll mix it as well. It's you have to be cautious of the water you add inside. Can you stop turning off the light to rest, please? Taking out the skin. Special Ebusi soup. I will also go back and turn it. Okay. I love this fish. I can't stop praising how fresh it's always been. And very tasty as well. So I'll be adding my fish. Okay. I will also 
что стоит. So we add my um, beef stock. Now I will add all the meat and let it cook. Before I do that, I would like to um, cut my okazi leaf. So I, I, I like it um, very little. So I would like to replace it if possible because right now it's kind of dry. Remember, don't don't cook your egusi soup on a on a high heat. You have to put it low. And I'll soak my kazi leaf. The kazi is dry. But once you put it into um, water, it will kind of look very fresh, like a like fresh leaf. Some people like to use uh, bitter leaf, but sometimes I also like to use bitter leaf. But for some reason, I would like to make this with kazi leaf. Where I am, I wish I can get um, other kind of leaf, but I can't, so I'll just make use of the ones I have. So I'll soak this in the water. Then I'll bring it back fresh and you leave it in the water. So. I'll be stirring my producer. With the fish. Looking delicious already. So I will add my pomo and chicken. I know that igusi is, is a rich food, so you need all of this to go inside and my goat meat. So I'm gonna stir it. And then I'll be adding a little bit of water. So stir it. Remember, I already put my shrimp. I blend the shrimp with the hot pepper. Let's see. Huh? Turn on the light, please. Huh? Can you turn on the light, please? Huh? Why are you doing this? But I think I'm gonna add a little bit of Mama. some house pie, house pepper. Mama. Do I use two? Mama. But I'll be adding a little bit of more. Let's see, excuse me. Mama. So I'll use blended. Mama. I'll be using blended pepper. Mama. 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 You can't eat this baby. Mama. It's house pepper. 
Just gonna let that cook. Let me add a little bit of milk, milk cube, and salt. Depending on how thick you want your egusi, some like the egusi to be um, has a little water, and some don't like it to have any water inside. So I just added a little milk to taste and the salt to taste. Egusi has to be rich. Let's see. Mm. Leave the light, please. Now we'll test it and see how it's coming up. Mm. Super delicious. Ah. I'm going to cover it. And then let's cook. Ah. Well, I do a little cleaning. I would like to hear from you guys in the comment section down below um, so know how you make your oil soup and if you have tried this method of making the goose soup and how it came out so we're going to let the goose soup cook definitely it will bring that some water and then I'll be adding the the parsley I believe the Busi soup is the soup they make for um, visitors in Nigeria or when there is a, a marriage ceremony or any kind of gathering they prefer to make the Busi soup than any other soup. Because they believe that um, we all know that the Busi requires too many uh, ingredients to make it. So you can you can really see it when you visit some people or you tell them that you're coming, they would like to uh, welcome you with the goose soup. On it. It's still on a low heat because you don't really want to burn it. Ooh, the aroma is something else. Ay, ay, ay. a little bit then I'll be back to add my vegetable and that will be it please if you haven't subscribed already I'm pleading with you to please hit the subscribe button like it's free you don't have to pay for it just hit it just press it so you will be notified when time I post a video Join the family. We will be keeping you guys updated. So I'll be adding my vegetable, which is bakazi leaf. Now it looks more like green. Very, very green. I'll mix 
it up. Make sure you have it on a low heat. This is more like a party style of a brussel. This one is cutting go slow. Depends on how you like it. Some like it very thick, and some like it a little watery. No place to put the spoon. Delicious. This is how it is. I'm just gonna cover it and let it cook, and then I'll turn off the heat, and that will be it. And that's how you get your delicious egusi ready. Yeah, egusi, you can eat it with any swallow of your choice as well. So you see, it doesn't really have, it goes with any kind of swallow. You know, either for the jam garlic, um, fufu, amala, or any kind of swallow, then it goes very well. So please, subscribe to the channel, like your video, and always share, because when you share it, you don't know who will really um, learn something from this. So I encourage you to share the video and then yeah, leave a comment down to let me know if you have tried this type before and how it came out. I will really, really be happy to see that. And I thank you all for watching as well. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Remember, I, didn't, I barely used um, much water just from my beef stock that I used and uh, a little bit of water from my, from my, um, what is it, the shrimp. Delicious. Very delicious and that's it you can actually turn off your light because you don't need to cook the akazi leaf for any for any reason the heat is, is um good enough for it already so i hope you seen how it goes let me actually have a little bit of taste turn off the heat that's cooked enough. You can use any any meat of your choice. The more meat you have, the better. Because egusi is a rich soup. So, like you all know, in this one I used um, stockfish, goat meat, pomo, and <laughs> I'm gonna eat all of this. I'm joking. All right, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. As you can see, the goosey soup came out really nice. Um, please, 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 click on the subscribe button. It's free. You don't have to pay for it. Um, like the video and leave a comment down. I thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys on my next video. Delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Awesome. Bye. Bye-bye.